Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to show you three different ways to get sketch effects for your laser engraving projects here. Um, the first one's going to be kind of more of like a line art style. Sometimes it looks great in images, sometimes it doesn't look so great in images. It depends on how much you have in an image or what the image is of. So today I'm going to use this house and then this little T-Rex with some sunglasses on here. Um, so we're going to show you the house first. I'm going to show you all three ways here what it looks like with like this image and then I'll show you um, one that looks like with a like a closer up image here so to start let's go ahead and do this if you want to keep the original photo make sure you make a copy first um, I, I really don't care if I destroy my original photo but if you want to keep one just make a copy if you don't want to you don't have to make a copy quite yet but we're gonna make another copy here in just a second I just want to get that out of the way um, if you want to preserve your background image, just make a copy here. Uh, with that said, um, what we're going to do with your first image you're going to edit is you're going to go up to uh, Filter, and then you're going to go down to Stylize, and you're going to click on Find Edges. It's going to look really weird like this with a bunch of coloring and uh, all the line art already. But what we need to do now is we need to create an adjustment layer for black and white. So you can do that from this button down here in the bottom right corner and go up to black and white, or you can go up to image adjustments and then black and white. So we'll just choose it up here and it should bring up this little menu right here. You don't, you don't have to mess with these sliders if you want to, if it helps in any form, you can change this around. Um, you can just click okay. Our main goal here is to make it black and white. Uh, the next thing you want to do is create a levels layer. So the same thing, this button down here, you can choose levels or you can go up to image, choose adjustments and click levels either way. And now all you have to do is just kind of play with this. You can go back and forth and change like the tinting on this until you get the sketch art that you want. So uh, this is more like a line art drawing than a sketch art here. So if you're looking more for like those line art pictures, this is a good point to start. That looks pretty decent for how much is in this image. Obviously, if you had less in the image, like these bushes weren't so crowded, it'd look even better. Um, so the better your image, the better this is going to turn out. That is the first way that you can do this. Uh, the second way, I'm going to delete this so we can start over here. I'm going to just create another copy here uh, so we don't delete, delete the original image so we can start over for the third way too. But when you have your starting image, all we're going to have to do is we're going to go up to image this time. We're going to click on adjustments and then we're going to go down to desaturate. Now that you have this in this desaturated mode, um, you're going to make another copy of it. Just drag it down here to the plus and then you'll have a second copy. On this second copy, You'll go back up to image, go to adjustments, click on invert, and it'll look like this. So this image is on top of this image right now. And what we want to do is with our inverted image, we'll click on this button right here, and we're going to change it to color dodge. It's going to look like a pure white screen. In some situations, you may have small little like black lines here and there, um, but it's going to be mostly white. That's what we're looking for. And then what you can do is come up to filter, and go down to other and choose minimum. When that pops up, it's gonna look like this. Make sure your roundness is set, is set instead of square. Um, square might look better in some situations. I find roundness kind of gives more details, so you can mess with that how you want. Then all you gotta do is adjust the slider as needed, and it'll give you a nice sketch effect. This is a little bit more of a sketch effect because there is gonna be some grays in it um, versus like just pure black and white like the other one. But that looks good. Um, and then I want to show you a bonus tip with this one. Like we did with the other one, you can come up to image adjustments and then layer or uh, levels again. And you can kind of pl uh, play with this too. So if you don't like all the, um, the gray in it, you can try and pull it all the way over here and then mess with this to try and get a happy medium in between the two. It's going to be hard to do, but you're still going to get grays in there. Um, so after you find like something that you're happy with or is suitable for you, uh, you can then go in manually and try to clean up some of this with like uh, the spot healing brush where you can just kind of highlight over some of this to clean up some of it. 
but you want to make sure you merge your two layers together because it's trying to go on top of two different layers right now. But you can kind of play with that and then clean it up as need be uh, to make it look better. So the third way, I'm going to go ahead and delete both of these. And then we're going to start with another copy so we don't delete the original. Uh, the third way is just like the second way but with a twist here. So we're going to do the same start here. We're going to go to uh, Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. We're going to create another copy just like we did before. And then we're going to go Image, Adjustments, and Invert just like before. And then the same thing as before, we're going to click on Color Dodge. So we did everything the exact same except for now at this point, instead of filter and going to other, we're going to go to blur and then uh, Gaussian blur. So this is going to give you probably one of the most detailed sketch images in my opinion that you can get. Um, and you're still going to have some of this cleanup up here and like the clouds because it's kind of getting the overcast of the clouds here. But you can mess with this and make it as neat or detailed as you want. I really like this mode here. It's kind of cool it's like a black and white mode but you can get more detail and lighter or darker whatever version you want it's really nice and this is going to look great on engraving some items so click OK if you're happy with that you're good to go you can do that same bonus tip of the um, image adjustment and levels and then you can mess with this as well to get different uh, like darknesses and stuff like that too so that is this image. Let's go ahead and do it with something that's a little bit more close up. We'll do all three. I'm going to do a quick run here. So we're just going to create a copy so we don't delete that layer. And then we're going to click on um, filter. We're going to go down to stylize. And then we're going to click on find edges. And then what we're going to do is this time I'll use this button down here. We're going to go up to black and white. And then we're going to click it again and go to levels. And then on the levels bar, it'll be up here. Mine is up here. You'll have like a properties tab. If you don't do that, you go to windows, click on properties and you can get that properties tab. And uh, we can now mess with the, the settings here and make it look like a line art sketch. And you can keep messing with this back and forth until you find something decent. We're going to call that decent. Next one, we're going to delete this and we're going to start over for the second version I showed you. So we'll create a copy. We're going to go to image adjustments and then we're going to go down to desaturate. We'll create another copy and then we're going to go to image adjustments and then invert. We're going to click the drop down and we're going to click color dodge and then we'll click on filter and other and then minimum. And then now you can mess with this uh, little scale here wherever you think that it's best. Let's say that's good. And then that bonus tip of doing adjustments and levels, you can now mess with this and fine tune it even more. And we'll call that good. And then last but not least is that third way. We're going to do all of that over again. So copy, image, adjustments, um, desaturate, copy it again, image, adjustments, invert and then um, once you invert it you're going to do the color dodge again and now we're going to do that slight change where we go to blur under filters and we're going to do gaussian blur and then you can play with these settings to find a sketch effect that you like let's say we want to go a little bit darker and actually get some grays in it this time we can go ahead and do that and click ok and then um, you can do that levels that I told you about under adjustment and levels. And then you can play with those settings too. If you want to get it even darker or lighter, you can mess with that. Let's say that's good. And then as a bonus bonus tip, you can even come over here to like the burn tool. Let's say these aren't dark enough. You can kind of darken just the edges up if you want to darken the edges up like that. Um, and you're good to go. So you can do this on like a nice... Uh, bass wood. This would turn out really good engraving on bass wood as a photo. So those are different ways that you can do sketches or line effects uh, for line art on your laser engraving projects. If you found this useful, um, go ahead and uh, subscribe and follow along. I plan on doing other kind of tutorials like this in the future. And we'll, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.